This is going to be a not so quick video on the TRI 152 and talking about different types of external microphones, handsets, and push to talks and headsets. Uh, I'm not going to cover all options for this because really there's like a limitless amount of options, especially when you start talking about push to talks and headsets. I just wanted to cover some general things on all of those topics, a little bit about the settings and stuff on the radio. Uh, this is the newer, newest generation that's available at the time in uh, 2022 for the TRI radio. Some of these things may apply to other versions of the radio, but not entirely. External push to talks. First thing, in case you didn't know, with the K KDU version, this button right here is a push to talk. Um, so if you have an external headset with a speaker, you may not necessarily even need a push to talk if you're utilizing the KDU. Just something to think about. The next thing, they'll all interface up top. This is a compatible military connector. Your military type handsets and push to talks are going to interface with it. They have a little cam lock system where it'll only really interface one way so that way the pins match up. You can see when you look at it right here it goes down so you push it down you rotate it and then it locks up. thing I usually do rotate when it's got a good seal, you'll hear the air purge, rotate, and let go. If you're having a hard time getting it to slide down, lick your finger and stick it in there and rub around. Same thing if you're not getting a good connection. Now that that's hooked up, you'll see as I key this out, you'll see it key up. But if I go to talk into this or hear it, not going not gonna to get anything. You have to go into the menu. First thing that you're going to need to select is the microphone type. This is a dynamic microphone on this particular handset. So you can see once you go into the microphone type here, dynamic and capacitance type. So you select dynamic. Now, this is something I discovered that I think is actually a little bit silly. I set that the mic type right. You would think that now that I set the mic type and I have this hooked up, I should be able to talk into this microphone and that's menu option 32. Menu option 31 is speaker to set it for the inside speaker, which is right here by my thumb, or the external speaker, which is the external speaker on your handset or if you're wearing a headset. You think if you left it on inside speaker, but you had a microphone of some sort with a push to talk, I could talk into this microphone, but then when it transmits, I would be able to hear out the speaker. That's not the case. If I have this hooked up, it disables the microphone on what you have hooked up. The push to talk works on it only. You have to set the speaker option to external before anything that you hook up is going to work. I actually found this disappointing because I wanted to hook it up in my truck, uh, my LMTV, with this sitting in a pouch with the radio t uh, speaker turned all the way up and just have this handset to be able to talk on, kind of like, you know, so everybody in the cab could hear. So I'm going to have to find a little bit different solution, what there are, but I was thinking for that to just be quick. But anyway, so those are the two settings that you need to have. Biggest thing is figuring out what type of microphone is going to be on whatever you're using. All right, I have another radio set just off to the side to show that this is going to work. Radio check over to show you what I was talking about. I think it's funny the speaker spelled wrong. See, now I'm going to set it to inside. I'll hold this mic up and key out. Radio check over. See how it just gives like a really weird feedback and nothing comes out. It's because it's trying to hear on the microphone from here and it's just getting a weird feedback from this. Not that I thought that you didn't believe me when I told you, but I just wanted to show you that might be something that confuses people, they think, because I believe it's the TCA has like an automatic recognition uh, when 
you have something hooked up. That last one was like the really old school mic. This is the more modern handset type radio check over. And then if they were to transmit back, you can hear out the handset piece, but I'm, I'm just sitting in here talking to myself. Okay, push to talks and headsets. This is one that could start getting super in depth. There's all kinds of different push to talks, Peltor, you, you name it out there. There's T, there's some of the, you know, aftermarket ones, the real military ones. Peltor has a little bit different wiring. And then some of the newer ops core, I guess, has different down leads depending on whatever. It's up to you to basically make sure that your headset wiring is going to be compatible with your PTT, your push to talk. Generally, your wiring for the mil spec connector up here though is, is the same. One thing with this radio that you do not need to worry about, like you need to worry about with other radios like the Baofeng and stuff, is that you have an amplified or a regular PTT because the radio can recognize the difference between the different microphones. So this particular push to talk right here, I've talked about a lot in my other videos, but if you watch just these ones on the TRI, is made by Sky Eye Tactical, and I got links to this specific one in the description. They make really awesome stuff. I, I really like their push to talks. They're not cheap. I have had some of their push to talks for like five years, was when I got my very first one. I still use it. If you break it, they really stand behind it. They'll make you some custom stuff if you reach out to them. They sell exclusively through eBay. I just like their stuff. It's built, it's robust. I did a just on their push to talk with my Baofeng gear in a separate video. Anyway, this isn't really supposed to be about promoting them or anything. I don't get anything from them. I just like their stuff. Anyway, and then this headset I have here is actually something I'm going to make a separate video on later on. I've been testing it out. Uh, an Earmer or Earmore, however you want to say it, headset. These are a pretty good value for the money, but this just has a regular capacitance type mic and it's got regular NATO wiring. So let's test it out. Before we test it out, let's go to the settings and change it to capacitance. One thing you could actually do with this headset is change the mic if you really wanted to, but that'll be covered when I do the video just on the headset. This is an active hearing protection headset as well, but I got it set up here and still off to the side, I have that other radio set up. So you should be able to hear that I can transmit with it. Radio check over. Oh, I'm way too close. <laughs> radio check over. I'm very close and it's given me some feedback, but as you can see, it does work. Um, normally you're not standing two feet away from a radio when you're talking to each other. Let's see if I'm connected to my house intercom and my wife could hear me good. Hey, Catherine, can you hear me? Over. I can hear you mostly, yeah. What do you mean by mostly? Over. It's just like a little fuzzy, not very clear, but I can make it out. Roger that. Okay, she said she's hearing me a little fuzzy. I'm not sure why that would be. One thing I didn't even think about is, uh, you probably saw it, is to improve the quality of the audio. Um, I've been using a wireless microphone. It's very possible that the wireless microphone uh, was, was causing an issue with some of the radio transmission since it was so close. Uh, I didn't even think about that. So that could be some of the interference, but th this wasn't really meant to be like a radio transmission quality video. It was just meant to show you the settings that you need to change in the radio. And then some of the basic things to think about when you're going to hook up external connections to these radios. Now, I bet you there's some people who clicked and watched this video and they're going, this video was a waste of my time, but there's a lot of new users to these radios who know nothing about this stuff. A lot of this stuff may seem basic, but when I first started learning about radios and stuff, there was a lot of basic stuff that was basic, but I didn't know about. The biggest thing though, is when you're getting headsets, make sure that your wiring down leads from your headset matches up with your push to talk. That's gotta be the most important thing. And then make sure once you hook up to your radio, when you're specifically using this TRI-152, make sure those two settings are changed. That's one thing that I really wish on this radio it just automatically did. You'd think that it's a pretty smart radio. Once you plug something in, yeah, you could adjust your microphone setting, but once you plug it in, that it would recognize once something was plugged in. It is what it is. Hopefully somebody found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.